Hello everybody, it's Johnny5 and in today's video and many of videos I'm going to start doing eBay, talk about eBay and what I sell on eBay. First of all, as you see here, what I, what I do for eBay, I either, either go garage selling or thrift stores. Mostly I do garage sales because garage sales around here, you can find a lot of good stuff for cheap prices. Now right here, I sell all kinds of stuff but mostly watches of all kinds. I have I usually sell Disney stuff that I can find. Here I a Mickey and Minnie Mouse watch. And let me zoom in for you. And yeah, they're old but they're worth some money. And they they all, they all need batteries and I have these currently listing them on my eBay. I'll put that link in the description below. And <clears throat> these watches do sell good. These over here, another Disney watch, 101 Dalmatians watch. These I got for a little, cost me a little much to get, but they're rare. And that's why I do eBay. I either find rare items or I find stuff that people want or they sell. And no, these don't go for high price. Because I notice in eBay, if you do it high priced, you take any risk. <clears throat> and half the time they don't sell, only take a while to sell. eBay, it does take a while to sell, depending on the item. These uh, th have been listed for over a month now. And I get views with no bids. But they are in low prices, I keep lowering the price down. And this one, the Minnie Mouse watch, I don't know if they work or not. And they need batteries for sure. <clears throat> but <clears throat> the cool watches, I like them. I I sold one watch like two years ago, an ET watch. I got it for a dollar, and I sold it for ten. And that's how much they usually go for, ten dollars or more. But other watches I've seen, they go for a hundred plus. So it varies be between watches. What you want to find is like collectibles, either Disney watches, Mickey Mouse watch. If you can find more of these, these kind go all kinds and they sell for high price. This one probably not because it's not that old. It said made in the 90s, but it's plastic and it's like for a girl or something. But like candy watches, like N M M watches, this one's rare, very rare. Because it's the Manil the Manilium edition. Sorry if I don't pronounce that right. From the year two thousand. I don't these two are both rare. So who knows how much they would go for. And then starting to start sell Hot Wheels too. But this is a mixed bag of cars. Haven't sold Hot Wheels before. But I heard that they sell pretty good. And I have a whole bag there for I got two dollars. And I found one that bus right here is worth twelve dollars already. So it's already paid for. And that bus is not even hot wheels. But <clears throat> as as you can see, I do mostly stuff in in bulk or junk drawers. If these don't sell, I will put them on a junk drawer, like, like this together. And those usually work as well. See, what I used to do is sell one item individually. <clears throat> it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But mostly, I do in pairs. <clears throat> pairs usually work. Hot Wheels, I'm not sure yet, but these will be listed probably today. And there will be a link in my description as well. Everything will be listed when I get a chance around to it. And I do have a few items that are not on the table that are listed right now. I have a purse that I bought. Oh, no. I bought it for like cheap. I don't say how much. <coughs> but I think it's cool because it's leather and it's small. And that one's been on there for a while, longer than these, and now we've got, no one wants it. So, I'll list that on there too. So yeah, this will be a new series about 
me talking about eBay and what I sell on eBay, the truth, the truth about it. Because a lot of people I said earlier, they sell on eBay all the time, which is fine. But what they don't tell you is how often they sell. Because since these YouTubers sell items, they have views because of their subscribers. And when their subscribers view it, they usually buy the items. And I follow them all the time, I get ideas and tips from it, but half of them don't tell you the truth about it. They, <clears throat> they think you can sell this one item for a dollar, and you buy it for a dollar and sell it for a hundred dollars. Like, yeah, depending on the item, but not every item is that way. And a lot of people, and they have talk shows about it too, like, really? They don't tell you the truth about it? But that's for another video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will do more of these a lot because I like doing eBay. It's free to list. So if you're interested in selling, start with eBay. It's not hard to do. Nowadays, you can do it all on the cell phone. You don't need much. And if you go garage selling, you can spend most of your dollar on items, or free mostly. But don't be greedy. That's the thing. That's the key about eBay. Don't be greedy. To try to dub your money or make a little bit of money. That's it. If you do that, then stuff will sell quickly. And you probably can make a lot of money from it if you t spend a lot of time with it. But I do it on a part time basis. I could do it full time if I want to, but stuff don't sell right away. So don't expect quick sales. And if it's something that people want usually like holiday items like if you have Halloween items now is a great time to sell it anything Halloween you can at least W money but that's crap it's I don't do that I mostly sell toys watches antiques I mean like like small antiques games sometimes anything video game related like accessories, or <clears throat> I sell mostly Nintendo 64 stuff if I can find it. Those you can make a lot of money on. Like I said on my other video, I bought. Yeah, I'll show you the 64 in a minute. I'll show you what I. <clears throat> I bought this with like five dollars at a garage sale. Just the console itself. No, not the controller. That's mine. I had, but it came with the the power supply and everything I mean I got this without the game for five dollars it's crazy I can sell this easily and it works too I can sell this easily for a hundred dollars I want it to but Nintendo stuff they're gonna go up in value every year so I'm gonna hang on to it for three or four, five years and if I find duplicates then yes I'll sell it no problem but yeah, that's, um, that's a lot of questions and stuff, but if you do have questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.